so that you've been in squads before and you, you've dealt with big pressure. So, so how are you helping the other girls? You know, there's a lot of debutants in this squad. Yeah, I think there's about nine, isn't there, coming to their first tournament. Um, but, you know, I think we've got a lot of great kind of balance in the squad of youth and experience. Um, we've got some great leaders as well. Um, but I think, you know, the experience that some of the these players have in, like, um, Champions League in cup finals I think you know they've got a lot of experience um, so you know I feel like um, as a group collectively I think going into this tournament we're in great shape and you know for, for me I've kind of come into a bit more of a role with more experience of being more of a leader and, and support as well but um, yeah I think we've got so many leaders that can definitely support those um, coming into their first tournament. And Serena we've heard from some of the girls she's you know very matter of fact ruthless has been um, Said, but you know, she sat down with people and, and you know, told you if you were going to make this call or not. What was that conversation like with her? And, and what, did she, what did she say to you? Um. Well, to be honest, I think she's a great person. She's a really lovely person. I think, you know, she's got cr great communication skills. Um, I'm really enjoying my time kind of working with her. Um, I don't want to delve too much into the conversation we had, but obviously I was delighted to, to obviously be selected for, for my third kind of European tournament. So, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really nice conversation in that sense. Um, and it was really kind of... Uh, very different obviously for this group to have face-to-face -face conversation um, to say whether you're going in to the Euros or not so uh, yeah obviously in that sense it was very different um, but you know she's been phenomenal for us coming in uh, in September and we're really delighted that she's our manager. Certainly a memorable one for yourself. Um, some ups and downs, very disappointing moments, but I mean, overall, you know, you were the joint top scorer in that tournament. How do you reflect on that at this point, and, and, and to what extent does that sort of give you confidence going into this one? Because you know, we're, we're wondering if you could be that player. Again. <laughs> Um, yeah, obviously, you know, I've got some amazing memories of that tournament. Obviously, that semi-final, not so much. I do think about that quite a lot, you know. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, we, you know, those players that went to that tournament and those players kind of coming into this tournament, we could take a lot of experience from that and a lot of kind of memories from that. And, you know, especially in that semi-final, it's just those kind of one or two percenters that, you know, could have potentially taken us to a final. So, uh, yeah, for me, I've just keep working hard, keep developing and obviously do whatever I can to help the team, whether that's on the pitch or off the pitch. Can you be that Ellen White again this summer? I mean, you know you can deliver at that level. I hope so. I hope, I hope I'm better. <laughs> um, I want to be better. I want to keep striving to be better and, and keep developing as a player and a person and hopefully for this squad. I want to keep you know, working as hard as I can, whether that's you know, on the pitch, off the pitch and, and helping in any way I can. And this time going as England's record goal scorer, I mean, what was the feeling like to break that record? Was it kind of quite liberating to just get that done, sort of get, you know, get the monkey off the back in, in a way if people were talking about it for a long time? Um, well, when I do you when, when, when you when you, um, you. broke uh, yeah. Smith's, Smith's record, yeah, I think you know it'd been spoken about for, for a long time, and it's not something that I wanted to really discuss. But obviously, when the moment did come, there was a lot of emotion that came out, and obviously, you know, I'm I feel very lucky and very proud to to, to hold that record. But I don't, like I said, when I did break it, I don't want to stop there. I want to keep getting better. I want to you know obviously help England any way I can, and and obviously as a striker, you want to score goals. So um, yeah. Hopefully, you know, I can keep, you know, doing anything I can for the squad. There's a lot of striking for us in this squad. How are you working with maybe some of the younger strikers and, and helping them? You know, Serena said you need to be ruthless in front of goal in tournament football. And, and, you know, what you said about that semi-final, maybe if we'd been a little bit more ruthless, you know, we may have progressed to the final. So how are you, you know, helping them along and, and, and doing that? Yeah, I think, you know, we've got really talented players in this squad. And like you say, the... The forward line is phenomenal, um, you know, and every player brings something different, which is really exciting. And obviously, it's really fun in training, working, and developing with with each striker and each kind of combination. And and the wingers that we have are insane. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been really exciting and and developing and working on those connections. And and hopefully, you know, it can all come to fruition come the sixth of July, and and hopefully further on the line as well. Yeah, we want to inspire the nation. We want to continue to help women's football grow, especially in England, but also abroad. We want the game to, yeah, to flourish. And ultimately, we're going to do that through major tournaments, hosting them, competing in them, and ultimately performing in them. And you've been to a few major tournaments now. Um, 
how, how, how do you feel about like, the strength and quality and depth in, in, in this team? Is it, is it is be, the best that it's been? Are we, are, are we best prepped to, to make a splash this time as, as we've been so far? Yeah, I do think so. And I think that only comes the back of competing in the other tournaments that we've been so far and really making steps forward in different aspects and ultimately all of that work that we've put in over the years will ultimately hopefully come into fruition going forward and you know we can't forget the people that have you know been in the squad before us and really pushed us on to new heights and now it's time to kick on again. How are you feeling about your own form heading into it? Because um, you know you came back from Lyon, you've had a season with Arsenal. Sometimes you've been in and out of the team. Yeah. Um, so how do you feel about the, the, the place that you're in specifically right. heading into this tournament? I feel in a good place mentally and physically. Um, I did need the break. Um, Obviously, it was an up and down season with Arsenal, very frustrating for me personally. Um, but then, when I when I look back on my performances throughout the time that I was given on the pitch, I performed, I created goals, scored goals, and ultimately that's all I can do. And you know you can do it at this level. We've seen that through through your time of England before. You're confident that you can uh, step up again this summer. Yeah, I think I'm very confident because I've done it in every other tournament I've been to. So for me, it's almost like get your mind right, get your body right, to make sure you're in the, the right place to perform when your moment comes. And I've done it before, and I know I can do it again. And it might be about when your moment comes, I guess, because the competition for places in that attack is, is really something. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a great, it's great to have the competition, and it's good for the team. Um, you know, and you've got to you've got to compete and train. And you've got to perform in games and perform in training to get your chance. Last thing I was going to ask about is uh, obviously Ada Heg Hegerberg's back in yeah. general on the international front, yeah. and uh, you'll be facing her in, in the second game. Where you know, are you from now? Leon, yeah. I mean, talk to me a little bit about how pleased you are to see her back and uh, what a massive game that's going to be in the second group. Yeah, it's going to be a great game, and I think Ada's worked so hard to get to where she is. Um, you know, she had a tough time with injury, ACL, and then obviously a shin injury after that to, that kept her out for a bit longer than she wanted. Wanted to be, but you know, top players always come back in good form, and that's what she's done. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a great competition for the team. And also, I mean, she, she decided to step away from the Norway team for, for certain reasons about women's football in that country. She's happy enough to come back. Yeah, that's just a good sign in itself that she's happy with it and, and, and she's back. Yeah, it's a good time for women's football, I guess, it's a good time for Norway because you want your best players playing in, in, in the team and you want them to be performing. So, you know, it'll be great competition for us, and uh, yeah, I guess they're going to be very happy to have her back.